discussion again. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Hi kiddos, it's me, Mom Shalyn, your pre-calculus teacher. And for this video, we would be identifying the parts of a parabola given its graph. So let's begin. Our first example, so given this graph, we now have to locate the focus, derive its standard form of equation, and identify its other part. We also have our guide here for the different cases. Analyzing it further, so first let's identify its opening since that's the most obvious, um, that's the most obvious given in our graph. So it's opening upwards. There we go. Now let's remember, from our guide, when it's opening upward, these are the parts that we have to consider. And these are the formula that we would use. Let's look at the focus. What would be the coordinates of our focus from the graph? So counting it now from our vertex here at the origin, we have one, two units. And since it is found along the y-axis, we now have a y-coordinate. Therefore, our focus is at 0, 2. From our focus, we now have the p-value. So the focus is at 0, 2, and we know that the p-value is also this coordinate. Therefore, our p-value here is 2. p is equal to 2. From our p-value, we could now derive the standard form of equation given by x squared equals 4py. All we have to do is to substitute the value of p to this equation. Now let's do that together. We have x squared is equal to 4py. Substitute the value of p, which is 2. So we have x squared equals 4 times 2y. Simplify this further. And we have x squared is equal to 8y. And this will now be the equation for our parabola. From this, we derive the directrix. Still substitute, substituting the value of 2 to our p, we have the directrix at y is equal to negative 2. For the endpoints of the latus rectum, we substitute the value of p here and we arrive at the answers positive, negative 4 and 2. Why did it become 4? Because we have 2 times p. And 2 times p is simply 2 times 2 in our given example. That's why you got 4 here. And last is the length of the latus rectum, which is 4p. So we have 2 times 4, we now get 8 units. Don't forget your units. Okay, so essentially, the latus rectum or measure of the latus rectum is already visible from your standard form of equation. So that's it for our first example. See you on the next video in identifying the standard form given the focus. Thank you so much! I never made it I know what it takes I'm motivated by a